Okay, I'm here at 312 Gulf Stream. This property is 2,800 square feet, was built in 2000. It has a really cool, nice uh, facade. It's on a corner lot, uh, which actually will make it a little easier if you do decide to put in a pool. Uh, the street that we're on is actually pretty cool too. It's, uh, it's got real mature trees on it. And then there's a cul-de-sac here. And then it goes down there to a cul-de-sac. So probably less drive-through traffic than you would normally have. Um, and these trees in the front yard are actually uh, pretty nice big trees. As we walk up to the front of the home. And then we walk in. We've got, we've got a room right here to the right. This could be like a formal dining area. You got stairs going upstairs. And as we walk to the left, this could be the office area. And it's got these French, uh, these French doors on them. It has a wood floor in those two rooms and then like a, a tile throughout the main entry floor area. Then this goes all the way through uh, under the staircase for storage. Kitchen here to the left, which is a really good size. Upgraded cabinets, it's the 42 inch cabinets, good space. Breakfast area over here with lots of uh, light coming in, natural light. And then large living room area with real tall ceilings. Nice natural light coming in, fireplace. And then uh, down upstairs can kind of peer down. Over here is the master bedroom. Boom. Condition's pretty good. Some of the flooring has some uh, some, a little bit of stains, but it's not too bad, I guess. Double vanity, toilets in here, and then stand up shower, and garden tub, a closet. Coming back through, we've got a half bathroom right here and then it goes to the laundry room and then out into the garage I'll show you the backyard real quick as we come out of the backyard it actually has a really big porch to it Side yard. Um, my thoughts were if you did decide to do a pool it might be best to you'd have to probably remove this tree here and then maybe move the uh, storage shed uh, over here in this corner and then potentially a, a pool could could really go in this space right here and then also because it's a corner lot it would be easy for them to get equipment in here they would just take down a couple of the uh, sections of this fence and boom, be able to pull their equipment in. Storage shed. And then this side of the home. The AC actually looks newer too, so it's probably been replaced uh, recently. We'll get the seller's disclosure on that. Then we'll cruise up and take a look upstairs. Some of the carpeting has a little bit of like bunches, so it probably needs to be stretched again or really replaced. It's probably the original carpet. So as we come up to this landing here, we can see down and then it kind of comes off to the left and then boom, comes up to the right. To the right is like a media room. And then it goes into a bedroom, which has two doors. There's a closet for this room. You can come out this way. 
and then boom, it's the staircase again, looking down. And then you got another room. Here's the room I just came out of. And then you've got a Jack and Jill bathroom that walks through. And then this bedroom that connects the Jack and Jill bathroom.